Hey everyone, Jason here with another coaster cutout video. Today we're going to be doing El Toro from Six Flags Great Adventure. The El Toro coaster cutout is available as either just the lead train for $34.99 or you can also get the entire collector's edition, the full, well it's five cars, um, with the track and a nice wooden box for $200. These are both eligible for a season pass and membership discount. I've been told that at some of the other parks the full train configurations are not eligible for the discount. However, I've been told that Six Flags Great Adventure they are. So if you have the Diamond Elite membership, you can actually get 50% off knocking that full train down to $100, which is a great deal. Um, however, I just purchased the lead car, so I'm going to be putting that one together. This is going to be part one of two. So the first video is going to be assembling the coaster cutout. Part two is going to be painting it. If you've purchased the full train, you'll have this same lead car here. Um, along with four additional secondary cars as well as the full track to, to assemble as well. So it's, it's quite a bit larger. Um, however, for El Toro, I decided to just do the lead car. Um, Most I'm running out of space. Um, however, if you were to get a full train, it'd be something kind of like uh, the Dueling Dragons I have sitting back here behind me um, or the X2 coaster cutout that I've already done. So within the box, you actually have three sheets of wood. Um, one of them is the stand and then the other two will make up the train. You also have the instructions, which are printed on two pieces of paper. One of them is double-sided, so it's three pages total. Um, to get the pieces of wood out, they typically pop out real easily um, just by pressing with your fingers, um, which I'll be doing as we build this. Um, if you need something, a little bit of help, you can use a little screwdriver to, to, to kind of pop them out as well. Um, but yeah, ultimately they're usually pretty easy to just pop out with your fingers, and so that's gonna be the what I'm gonna try to do. Um, when you snap them together, um, if you notice on the sides of some of these pieces, you'll notice some of them have little cutouts and some of them have these little uh, double tab looking things. So basically you'll be sticking these double tabs into those little cutouts and that's going to be holding the coaster together. Occasionally you'll get a loose fit. Um, if that happens, you may want to put a little bit of glue on there to hold it together, um, but that's not super common. I actually haven't had that happen. I've, I've heard of other people having that issue. So far, um, and the two full trains, as well as the lead car I did for New Texas Giant, I haven't had that issue. And so I'm hoping not to have that issue today. So let's jump in and start putting this together. So steps one through four in the instructions are gonna have us putting together the seats. And it's gonna have us repeat this step three times as there's three rows of seats in each car. Um, and so I'm gonna start with step one. So step one is gonna have us using three of these pieces here, along with this seat looking piece right here. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that tab in the bottom there, um, and in the middle of the seats, there's a hole that we'll want to stick that into, um, and that's going to divide your two seats. And then the other two are going to go onto the two ends, so you'll notice that there's cutouts on each of the ends here, um, so we can pop those into place as well. Step two is going to have us take this back piece of the seat now and attach it to those three pieces. Um, so you see those three tabs there, and there's also two down here. The two down below are going to go right there, and the three up above are going to go right there. Um, so we're just going to line these up um, and press this into place. You want to make sure that you do the wood uh, the, the right direction. Um, a lot of times they burn details of the, the train into the different pieces of wood. Um, so on the seat back here, you'll notice it has the, the cut out there. Uh, I believe the inner part of the seats are red. Um, I don't remember what color the outer cut part is. Um, we'll get to that when we get to painting it. Um, but right there you can kind of see the cutout there as well as down in the seat you can kind of see the detail there. Um, but that's what step one and step two are going to do. Now step three is going to take this leg rest here, or kind of the part that goes up between your legs, and this is going to attach to the front of the, the seat assembly. So we'll just kind of snap uh, the two tabs into the two holes. Um, occasionally these do take a little bit of extra pressing. Sometimes they slide right on, um, sometimes you have to press a little bit harder, um, but there is step three. Now step four is going to complete the first seat assembly. Um, we're going to be using two of these pieces here. Um, and these pieces basically wrap around the side of your head. So in the back of the seat, you'll see the two holes. We'll take the two tabs on this and press that into place. Um, you might have to rock it back and forth just a little bit uh, to get it in there. And we'll repeat it on the other side as well. And then if you can't quite get it tight enough, um, you can kind of just push this down on the table typically, and use the table, uh, just the force of the table, uh, to snap these into place. Um, and so that's gonna complete our first seat assembly. Um, like I said, it's gonna have us repeat these four steps three times, 
And so I'm going to hurry up and just complete the other two steps exactly the same way and then we'll proceed to that point. So now you can see we have the three seat assemblies completed um, to create our three rows of the coaster. Step five and step six are gonna have us installing the sides onto the train. So this is one of the sides here. So if you look at the side of the seat there, you'll see there's one, two, three, four tabs sticking out of the side of each seat. And those are gonna hook in one, two, three, four on the side of the car. Um, and so we're gonna start with one side of the car and then we'll attach the second side of the car um, at the same time. So we won't do, you know, both sides on one row. We want to do the entire side. Uh, so we'll start with this left side if you're looking forward. Uh, so I'm just going to come over here on the side and line up these two back tabs and kind of start pressing them in. Um, and then the two that are diagonal from each other, uh, we'll just kind of make sure that those line up as well. And then we can kind of just put it down on the table and press it down into place. And so that's what the first seat looks like installed. And then we'll continue just working our way back on the coaster train here. Um, until we get all three of them hooked on. And so there we have all three rows of seats successfully connected to the side of the coaster car. Now as I mentioned, step six is going to do the other side. So here's the other side. Uh, once again you have the engraved outer edge. And so for this piece we'll just kind of start at the back of the train here and work our way forward and just press it on as we go along. I'm going to flip the train over and press down from the other side as well. And so that's what the train looks like up to this point. So that's going to take us to page two of our instructions and that's going to have us flipping the model over um, to the bottom um, where it's going to have us installing two pieces. We have this large square piece as well as this piece right here. So the large square piece we're going to do first, um, the end that has the two open tabs is actually going to hook on towards the back of the train. You notice there's a lot of additional holes in this. Uh, those will not be used quite yet. Those will be used um, for the restraints. Um, if you look at this, you want to match it up exactly with the instructions. So like I said, the two open ones towards the back of the train. Um, and then if you're looking at the train this way with the front towards you and the back there, um, you'll want these two here towards the left hand side. And so we'll just kind of slide in here and hook this onto these two tabs. And then there's also two tabs up here towards the front. Um, and like I said, most of the holes on this are gonna hold the restraints in place. So we're not gonna be installing the restraints quite yet. I think that's uh, possibly the next step, um, but we'll get that hooked on. And then the next piece is gonna be this piece right here. And so there's two tabs on the sides. Uh, these two tabs on the sides are gonna hook into the two slots up here. And then there's two slots on the back that are going to hook onto the two tabs on the bottom of the coaster. Um, so I'll just kind of drop this down in place, press this down. Squeeze the pieces together and that's what the bottom of our coaster is going to look like. So the next step I'm going to be putting together is going to be the lap bar. So the lap bar is going to call for 12 of these arms and then six of these lap bars. So there's going to be six lap bars total. Um, one warning I'm going to give, if you are going to be painting the model, I'm going to say right now that there are certain pieces that are going to be easier to paint before you install them um, rather than after. Um, I'm going to put the whole model together. Um, in my painting view, I'm going to have to take certain pieces off. Um, the lap bars are going to be one of those. Um, first of all, if you want to paint like the bottom where, where your feet are going to be, it's a lot easier to paint that without the lap bars and they're around. Um, but also the lap bars and the bar are typically a different color from inside the train too. Um, and they're a lot easier to paint if they're outside of the coaster. So if you are gonna be painting this when you assemble it, um, I'd recommend kind of doing them both at the same time for the purpose of these videos, I've separated it out. Um, however, it may be easier if you paint as you go. Um, with some of the things, uh, like up to this point, I actually think this is probably a pretty easy piece to paint as is like this. Um, but like I said, the bull head um, and like the restraints, those are probably pieces that I'm gonna be taking off when I paint this. Now to assemble each lap bar, we're gonna take one of these arms here 
and we're gonna take the lap bar with the curved part on the top and we're gonna snap that into place here. Um, and then we'll just take another arm on the other side and snap it into place as well. And so that's gonna create each of our lap bar restraints. Um, and then these lap bar restraints, like I said, if you look in the, in the floor of the coaster there, um, there's several wooden holes. Um, you can just kind of come on here and snap it into place. Um, so we'll put uh, that there and that there. Um, some of the one, the back rows are going to be a little bit more difficult um, to get your fingers down there and press them into place, especially um, with the bottom of the lap bars being diagonal. Um, but you can get them in there. And so there's kind of the first lap bar installed like that. I'm going to assemble the other five lap bars and get them installed and then we'll proceed to that point. So there we have the six lap bars now installed in the train. So step 10 is gonna have us putting together our two wheel assembly. So this is the wheel assembly base here. Um, and there's four types of wheels. We have our side runner wheels. Um, we have the, the top wheels that actually run on the track. And then we have the small up stop wheels. Um, we're gonna put this together upside down because it's actually gonna hook on to the bottom of the coaster. Um, so to do each of these, we're gonna first take these bigger wheels um, actually, we're going to first start with these little Pac-Man almost looking shaped ones. Um, these ones are going to go slide inside in the middle. Um, and I think these ones are probably going to be the easiest to put on first so that the other two wheels are kind of out of the way. Um, but yeah, you just kind of slide it in like that. Um, we'll do that on each side. Then we'll take the larger wheels and they'll hook on towards the bottom. These are actually going to be the top wheels when we flip it around. Um, but putting this together upside down, we're going to put these on the, the bottom. And then the smaller wheels are going to be our up stop wheels and those are going to go on the bottom but holding it upside down once again it's going to be the top um, so we'll kind of push those down into place as well and so that's what a completed wheel assembly is going to look we'll move on and do the other one as well and then we'll attach them And so there we have our two completed wheel assemblies. Now the wheel assemblies are going to attach to the base of the coaster inside of each of these openings. Um, and so basically uh, the, the base of the seats had two extra holes in that. Uh, the middle ones, those holes won't be used, um, but in the back and in the front row, we'll be taking this wheel assembly and just dropping it down into place and putting those two things, the two tabs down into those two holes um, to kind of lock the wheels in like that. We'll be doing that on the front as well. Now looking at that, you can see the wheels are kind of hidden. What that's telling me there is if you're going to paint this, that's another piece that's probably going to be easier to paint before you install. Um, that way you can get full coverage on the wheels as well as on the wheel uh, interior uh, before you select, lock that into place. So when I paint this, I'll probably be taking that off. Um, but there we have it with the wheel assemblies installed now. Now the next step is going to have us installing this piece onto the front of the coaster. Um, so if we turn the coaster around here, you'll notice we have two open slots here. We also have two on the top as well, um, but the narrow end is going to be towards the top. So we're going to first just come down here to the bottom and try to get those two tabs to line up with the holes. And then there's going to be two tabs on each side that have to line up as well um, that we can then press into place. Now the next step is going to have us installing these two pieces. In the instructions, occasionally they're going to put a little black exclamation point um, and that tells you to really pay attention uh, when you're installing two similar pieces. So you can see these pieces are very similar here, uh, except one of them has uh, this, this extruder protrusion here on the front edge. And so when you're installing it, um, it actually has the coaster upside down on the instructions. Uh, so we want to take the piece that doesn't have the protrusion, actually we'll do the one with the protrusion first and it's gonna go lower. It's actually gonna go on the top side of the coaster, but lower on here. Um, and that's actually what the bull head is gonna hook onto. Uh, so we can put this here into place. Um, and honestly, I actually don't think it would fit the other way because um, the holes are spaced differently. So this is a piece you really probably couldn't put in in the wrong place, um, but it does have you pay attention there. Um, but we can snap both of these into place uh, just like that. So step 14 is actually lacking some detail in the instructions and part of it's actually cut off 
Um, so I have to do a little bit of studying there. Um, but step 14 is going to use this piece along with these two small square pieces with the tabs on each side. Um, so we're actually going to attach these first. So you'll notice on the top here, um, there's a gap on the, each side as well as two on the top. So these little pieces are going to hook on on each side. Uh, so we'll just kind of push that in there like that. And we'll repeat that on the other side. And then this other piece is going to snap on on top. Um, so just using the tabs on either side of it, uh, we'll put that in the two gaps on the front there. Um, and so that's what the coaster is going to look like up to this point. Now step 15 is going to have us using both of these kind of angle cut pieces with the two holes in it. Um, and these are actually going to hook on angled here as well. And so with this, we're actually going to have the shorter edge towards the front. And we'll use these two tabs on each side uh, to hold this piece in place. So we'll just kind of push that on there. Um, and same thing on the other side as well. Um, that piece is going to be mirrored on each side. Um, and so that's going to do step 15 for us. Step 16 is going to install this piece on the front here. Um, and so this piece, there's one, two, three, four, five, six tabs. And there's also these two that are going to once again hold the, the bull head that are going to stick through that slot in the middle. Um, so you'll want to first slide that slot through the center here. And then just continue pressing it back until you can lock in all six of those tabs. It's going to look something like that. Step 17 is going to have us install the bull head. Uh, once again, as I mentioned, if you're going to be painting this model, this is a piece that's probably easier to paint off. And so I'm going to put it on now, um, but I'm going to be popping it off to paint. Um, but it's going to press right on there, um, right in the front there and, and hold into place. Um, the bull head, the reason I say that is the bull head is just it's a little bit different color, um, almost has a goldish sheen to the brown, uh, to the brown, and then uh, you also want to paint behind it as well. Um, I may also take a little bit of sandpaper just to the edge to round the edges of the bull horns and stuff a little bit to, to give it a little bit more of three-dimensional uh, shaping to it, um, but it's looking really cool there. Now step 18 is going to have us installing this little stopper here um, to the front end of this bar that's going to go across the bottom so um, you'll notice there's a shorter end here there's a longer end here we're going to attach this to the longer end um, you'll also want to do it with the circle that's engraved on there facing out now once we have that this can actually hook onto the two wheel assemblies um, so there's two grooves in the wheel assemblies and so this will just push down into place and hook on and hold in there um, just like that and that's going to take us to steps 19 and 20, which are going to be the last four pieces. Um, and these are going to create the stand that this is going to sit on. So the first thing you'll notice with the stand is it already has the logo there. Um, it's really nice looking etched into the wood. To create the stand, we're going to take this piece right here and this piece right here and just slide them together uh, to kind of create uh, the stand. And then these are going to snap down into the base plate here. Uh, to complete the, the stand base. And then at the top, you'll have this triangular piece that's going to give it some stability at the top as well. Um, you'll notice this top groove is a little bit off-centered, so if I'm looking at the base here with the logo, I want that to be on the left-hand side. Uh, so it's on your right-hand side, but we'll slide that down right there. Now as far as attaching to this to, this, this to the base, you'll notice there's those two holes that we had there. Um, from before um, that I told you to have just off center. The reason they're just off center, we have this beam in the middle. And so we want to basically take these two pieces here and snap them in there. Um, and then there's a little groove right here on the stand that's going to run along this runner here. Um, so I can basically slide this into place and snap those two pieces into place. And that's going to create the completed El Toro coaster cutout from Coaster Dynamics. Once again, this is available at the park or on merch.sixflags.com for $34.99 um, and is eligible for a season pass or member discount. Um, really cool model. Uh, if you stay tuned for the next video, I'm gonna be taking it a little bit of a part, um, but painting it, um, which can add a lot of character to it. But ultimately, it's a very nice looking model, very detailed. So here it is next to the Nano Coaster, so you can kind of see the size difference here. Um, quite a bit larger than that. Um, but they kind of show you two different things. It shows you the track layout and the, the shaping of it. Um, and this gives you a lot more detail of, of just the train. 
Um, assembly took about 45 minutes according to the camera, um, so really not too bad. This is not my first model, uh, so it may take you a little bit longer if it's your first one. Also, if you decide to do the full train, um, this is what your lead car is gonna look like. Uh, the other cars will probably be very similar, but without the bullhead, maybe a little bit different shaping on the front. But other than that, I would expect the other cars to be exactly the same. Uh, and then the track is gonna add a little bit more to it as well. Now, if you get the full train, I don't know if it'll include this stand. The Dueling Dragons actually included the individual car stand for some reason. X2 did not. I don't know if El Toro does. Um, but if you do use to get the full train, uh, you won't be using the, the pieces here to hook in. Uh, the coaster will actually sit on the track. And so basically the, the, the pieces of the track will attach to the wheel assembly in some way, um, which makes it a little bit cooler even than that. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, that's fine as well. If you want to see more videos like this, including my paint video, which should be coming in the next few days, hopefully, you can hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a great day.